When it comes to generating reverse shells, I wish I'd have known about this little thing a little bit sooner. Somebody DM'd me on LinkedIn asking about reverse shell generation for the OSCP. This is my Git book, which has all of my offensive security sort of cheat sheet notes inside of it. And you'll see here I have a section called shells. And here we are, reverse shells, bash shell, netcat without the E flag, netcat for Linux, etc. And you can just click the little copy icon. Boom, that's copied to the clipboard and go and paste it wherever you need to paste it. It's super handy, but there's a better way. I wouldn't even bother keeping notes of all of these shells. What I would do is I would use this. This is the reverse shell generator. And first things first, obviously it has dark mode. There it is. But it also has meme mode, which looks like that. So we're gonna use that one. Here's what you do. You figure out your IP address, which if you're doing this, you should already know how to figure out your IP address and you put it in here. So we'll choose 13, 14, 15, 16 as our IP address. And as I type that in, you can see it changes it down here. The port that we're gonna be listening on, we're gonna change it to 31337 Elite. And if I scroll down, you can see here, we've got all these different options. So if you wanna do a ZSH version, there it is. Groovy, Java Web, Node.js, Python, PowerShell, a PHP script from Pentest Monkey. If you don't know Pentest Monkey, go check it out. Really good resource, but it's baked right into this tool. As you can see, our IP and our port is automatically populated. Really, really useful tool. And then when you're ready, all you gotta do is click copy to copy it to the clipboard. In the top right, you'll notice there's this little guy, you click that, and that is this project on GitHub. So if you need to run that locally, if you don't have internet access to revshells.com, you can just download the project onto your Kali VM or whatever it is, and then install it locally. So you have all this locally on the box. Super, super useful. So thank you to everybody down the bottom here that contributed to generating this tool. And that's it. Go and reverse shell your face off. And remember, only use reverse shells in places that you're allowed to. I'll see you next week.